Hey, Apple students, here are three must-know documents of the revolution. First is the Olive Branch Petition. In 1775, as things were getting worse between the colonies and the crown, the Continental Congress drafted this petition and sent it to King George as a last-ditch effort for peace. John Dickinson, who was an Enlightenment thinker from Pennsylvania, believed in reason and negotiation over war. So remember, the Olive Branch Petition was inspired by Enlightenment ideals, like peaceful resolution of conflict and diplomacy. Second is Thomas Paine's Common Sense, which was published in January of 1776. Paine passionately argued for independence from British rule. His clear and persuasive writing style made complex ideals accessible to everyday people. He asked basic questions like why should a tiny island country rule the vast and resource-rich 13 colonies? His work inspired many people to support the revolutionary cause. This document was so good at getting people to support independence that it will be declared just six months later. So third is the Declaration of Independence, which was written by Thomas Jefferson. The Declaration of Independence echoes enlightenment principles like natural rights, the social contract, and the right to alter or abolish oppressive governments. And you'll want to remember the three parts of the document. First, you have the introduction, which describes the natural rights of man and the purpose of government. Second was a list of grievances of the British king. Thomas Jefferson refers to these as a long train of abuses and usurpations. And third was the formal declaration of independence from England. But remember, the declaration of independence did not create a government. That will come later in the Articles of Confederation. So for more help, make sure you check out the Ultimate Review Packet.